favorite things about working on PwC TV is interacting with the viewers. We got an awesome question from Oscar, all the way from South Africa. He wants to know what is a reed valve and how does it work? Joe? Now, Under the Sea with Joe St. Louis, brought to you by SBT. Well, Christy, reed valves are a very interesting topic. Most personal watercraft use a case reed induction system, which utilizes a reed valve such as this. The reed valve goes in like so. What the valve does is it allows fuel and air into the engine without allowing fuel and air back out of the engine. Most reed valves are made out of plastic. Some are made out of metal. They don't have to be adjusted, but they do have to be checked periodically. In order to check them, you must remove the reed valve from the engine, hold it up to the light, and see if you see any cracks between the reed valve and the cage. If you do, the reed valve must be replaced with a new one. You know you have a bad reed valve when you get blowback through your carburetor. What happens is you have a broken reed valve, fuel and air from the engine goes back through the valve, through the carburetor, and coats your flame arrestor. So when you take your flame arrestor cover off, it's coated with gasoline. Another problem you could have is if you're traveling at high speed and you let off the throttle and the craft suddenly dies and you're not able to start it back up again. Some reed valves are equipped with a stuffer. What the stuffer does is increase the velocity of the air at low speed to help you get better bottom end performance. Now if you're into performance of your craft, one of the things that you can do is change your reed valves. They have reed valves made out of carbon fiber which react faster. They open faster and close faster to allow faster throttle response and better bottom end performance. Another thing that can be done is removing of these stops. This allows the valve to go back further to allow more fuel and air in a crankcase. However, that fatigues the valve more and it will fail sooner. If a reed valve breaks, if it's made out of plastic, 90% of the time it'll go through the engine and out. The other 10%, it could land on a bearing, melt, and cause engine damage. If it's made out of carbon fiber, pretty much the same thing. If it's made out of metal, metal ones usually don't break. They usually just bend and you don't have any problem with them. If they do break, however, you have a metal piece inside your engine, major engine damage, major engine replacement. I'm glad that all of you in South Africa are watching. I'm Joe St. Louis, looking forward to seeing you next week for another tip under the seat.